Good morning, y'all. Well, I'm gonna show you something. Uh, looks like we're gonna be eating our very first homegrown tomato of the season soon. And we have got rain finally here today. Okay, here is what we're doing today. We are gonna dig down in here and see how the potatoes are doing and if they're big enough we're going to go ahead and rip these all out of here good morning mr james good morning all right so start right let me come over on this side i'm just gonna stick it in right here i had to come over here y'all well looky uh, there those aren't bad potatoes. Put my bucket. Nice. I'll just pull the vine out. There's the bucket. Oh, there's more on there. Get those little ones. Yep. And we will use those in stews. All right. Now you took my bucket. Or a roast. Let's go to the open. Look. Do, you'll have those no matter what. Uh, I got it. See, those aren't bad. We'll bring you back when we get a little farther. Look here, y'all. That's a pretty good one. Well, so far, y'all, we got almost a half a five gallon bucket. I'm and that's all the farther we've went. Four feet, maybe? Maybe four feet. We've got all that to go yet. Okay, guys, look what we're finally getting to. Um, this is our sugar baby watermelon and it is getting to the point where it is putting stress on this stem so what we took was an onion bag and we strung it up we made the hole big enough to put the watermelon down in it and we have it strung up here and it still has plenty of room in this bag to grow now, Mr. James is down here working on this one. Mm. Let me get off here real quick and help him. We'll be back. Okay, now we've got four watermelons on this one vine. Got that one, that one, the big one, and then that one. And they are all cradled. And now they can grow with no problem at all. Now we're over here at the tomatoes, y'all. Uh, they're starting to show a little sign of stress from this heat. The tomatoes themselves are doing great, but the leaves are showing a little stress. So we'll see where this takes us. Now what I did to help with that is I cut a lot of the leaves off. more than way more than halfway up so that should help with the stress now these over here so far so good I'm not seeing any stress it's only in this bed over here so might be early blight But that's going off. We don't want that anywhere near our plants. So, all right, y'all. Well, I guess that's gonna about do it for this one. But we wanted to show you the potato harvest and how we tie up the watermelons. So, y'all have a blessed day. And if you're not subscribed, come on, subscribe. We're good.
good people.